Kay Martin. So we have been reading Water in class and you chose this as your most favorite book. So why did you choose this book? Because all the words that are inside and they're easy for me and I know them inside the book. Oh, so you like this book because you're really good at reading it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So why is it so easy for you? Because all the words that are inside it. <laughs> I know. You know all the words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's awesome. So this is a level D book, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what level you're working on. Yeah, yeah. and I'm in a level D too. I know. I'm so proud of so you. So that's why I'm, this book is easy for me. Yes, you Because it's are. the same level on me. Yes, you're right. Good job, Martin. Okay, so this looks really interesting. Water and the waterfall on the front cover. Can you tell me? something interesting because, it, because it, in the back page these are all the people that use water oh so it tells about the ways people use water yeah yeah um can you tell me a little bit more about that because uh, people because uh other people you can see them in the back page they do water and they show you what is water for oh okay so what are some things we use water for uh to uh, wash your hands mm -hmm. and uh for the car wash, okay. then uh, for the fighter fighters, then the uh, kitchen, then the uh, beach, then the uh, water fountain. Yeah. Then the last one is the garden. Yeah, we use water to water our plants, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. You did a great job. So, what did you already know about water before we read this book? Uh, I read it before. <laughs> yes. But what did you already know about water? Do you drink water? Yes. Do you take a shower with water? Yes. Or take a bath? Yes. Yeah, so you already had some background knowledge about water, right? Mm -hmm. But did you learn some new stuff in there? Yes. Yeah. So what did you, what are some things that you learned about water? Uh, water is important. It is important, you're right. That's why it's all around spots, like all around different cr countries. Yeah, water's very important, you're right. That's like the main idea of the story, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the main idea was that water is all around us, and it's very important. Mm -hmm. And then you shared with me some details about how we use water. We use it to cook, we use it to drink, we use it to wash our hands. Good job. Okay. Did anything confuse you in this book, or were any words tricky? No. No? You know them all? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I want to hear you read a little bit of it, okay? okay? So, I want you to pick a page in the book that you really like to read, that you feel like you're really good at reading, okay? Okay. All right, pick your best page. This one. That you like that one the best. Yeah. Why do you like? Hang on. Why do you like this because, page so much? Because uh, car washes are important for your car. Yeah, you're right. They are. Okay, go ahead. Oh. You. Oh, hang on one second. Sorry. <laughs> so we've been using our strategies mm -hmm. in class, right? And so we've really been working on chunky monkey mm -hmm. and chucks chunk the word. Chunk the words. Find parts that you know. And we've also been working a lot skip on skip the word. Skippy frog. You skip the words. So I want to see you. Um, apply those strategies okay. as you read. Right, you can find water at the car wash. We use water to wash the cars. Great job, Martin. Awesome. How did you know that this word was wash? Because it starts a shh. It has a shh at the end, doesn't it? That's yeah. a chunk. Great job. So you used your chunk to help you read that word. Great. How did you know that this word was water? What chunks do you see there? Because in the front page is water. In the front page is water, and it said it is an er. Yes, good job, Martin. Er says er. er. That's one of our chunks. You're doing a fantastic job with that. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, okay. So, did any of the words confuse you, or did you struggle with any of the words? Were they hard? No. No, you got it. I know all the pages. <laughs> well, I'm super proud of you. You're doing a great job. So, you wrote this about the book. Can you read the, your sentence to me? You can find water at the beach. 
Great job. So how did you figure out that word was beach? Because you kind of stopped a little bit. Yeah, because I stopped. I don't want to speed up, so I don't. So I don't. So I don't make the word confused for me. Oh, okay. You wanted to take your time so you yeah. can make sure you read it correctly. Yeah. Good. So I love how in your writing, I love how you spelled your sight words correctly. You is spelled correctly. Can, find, at, and the. Those are all spelled correctly. That's awesome. That's what good writers do. Um, one of our words we had trouble with was water. So you spelled it the way it sounds. Woof, ah, ah, like an O, right? But it's actually an A. That's a magic A. Yeah, it doesn't make sense, does it? <laughs> the O is so nice because the, the, the O gives the A a chance yes. to the word. Yes. And then, so... A, what could you do to make sure you spell water correctly next um, time? Uh, think it, put the word inside my head. Okay. Could you use the book, too, to help you spell water correctly? Uh, no. No? No. Why not? Because I did not saw the book in front of me. <laughs> no. Okay. But is, the, is it spelled water right here? Yeah. So if you get stuck next time, could you ask to see the book, maybe, to yes. help you? Yeah. And then the word beach, I love how you got the CH in there because you heard that ch, ch ch at the end. But there's a magic A. There's an A in there. The chunk is EA. You're right. So you missed the EA. But I got the E. You got the E. I know. It sounds, you sounded it out and it's awesome. So next time, maybe use the strategy of going back in the book and finding the word. Um, or if there is water in the outer page, I can open this, then I can find water. Yes. So I can write and write. Yes, you're correct. So next time, our goal for next time when you're reading is I want you to be using Chunky Monkey and Skippy Frog in harder books, okay? So next time, I want us to move on to a level E book because you can do it. You can do hard Wait, things. Wait, level D is beside a level, a level D is beside a level E? Uh-huh. Good because that because of that's the good because I can do it. I, I can I can do hard things. You're right, Martin. You can do hard things. And since this book was so easy for you, I want to challenge you. I want to give you a harder book next time, okay? Okay. And then in your writing, I want you to use the strategy of going back in the book to find out how to spell the words correctly. Okay? And I want you to make sure you're spacing your words a little bit better so they're not so cramped. Okay. Okay, can you do that? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Martin. You're awesome.